Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today I will share three major news events related to ICP with all of you guys here on this channel. First of all, we are going to go through the hint of a proposal that Dominic Williams mentioned on his X profile. Can this proposal change the internet computer forever? Let's check it out together. On top of that, I will share two other major news events and a ton of different data, charts, metrics, indicators. So stay tuned and let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, as always, let's start with my open chat community here, a ton of activity as of late, so join the revolution 100% on chain with open chat and with ICP, link is down in the description below. Now, let's start with the first news event that I want to share here. Did you notice that the team of Definity did shrink before they had 270 plus team members, now only 200 plus team members? Where did this 70 people go? Did the Definity Foundation fire these people? I did show already that the cost of operations of the Definity Foundation did uh, drop exponentially in the last few months. Is this the cause? In this video, we are going to check this out together. Before doing that, I want to move on to some news and then we are going to check everything else together. So, top depping projects by social activity. This was published by the Phoenix Group. ICP is still on top of this list in the top three, as you may see. Bitensor Tau still a uh, first place. However, ICP is doing very well with 9,800 engaged posts and more than 705,000 interactions. Very, very cool to see. On top of that, now let's move on to something else. I want to go through all the relevant data on the dashboard to still show you that there is a ton of growth. Uh, finalization rate extremely, extremely elevated, transactions per second much more elevated compared to a month ago, ETH equivalent transactions skyrocketing, which is showing that now all of these transactions are performing more compute compared to what was the case a few months ago. Cycle burn rate still extremely elevated compared to a month ago when we were burning 10 billion cycles per second, now almost 400 billion cycles per second, so very positive. Total canister state constantly increasing, very positive. Internet identities increasing over time, positive. Uh, total amount burned slowly but surely increasing. Now we are generally uh, burning on a daily basis the same amount of ICP that before, a few months before, like July, June, August, we were burning on a daily basis. So that's extremely, extremely positive. Transactions are skyrocketing. I did show already that this month we have performed the most amount of transactions in this year. So very, very positive to see. Uh, Chanky Bitcoin, Chanky Ethereum supply increasing, millions of instructions executed per second, very, very close to an all-time high. I believe the all-time high is 190 uh, million instructions executed per second. Now we are very, very close to that amount. If we move on here, we are going to see that the Canister smart contracts are increasing rapidly in the last few weeks. So overall, this data is still absolutely sensational. Now, let me quickly uh, show you how much ICP we are burning uh, here on uh, every, each second, so 0 0.051 ICP per second, while we are still minting 0 0.614 ICP per second estimated. Therefore, we are still around an 11x away from a situation in which we are potentially going to cover node rewards and voting rewards. Very, very positive indeed. Just a few months ago, we were at thousand x away from that you can see here still we are burning one icp every 19 seconds very very positive indeed now uh, let's move on to something else to this proposal potential proposal a likely proposal from the definitive foundation let's see what is this all about canister smart contracts providing services may be configured to receive icp tokens when they are invoked color 
pace extra cycles that will be uh, they will be able to earn a profit okay a profit a bit like operators of premium phone services can what are your thoughts the thoughts are fairly mixed however i believe this would be a groundbreaking proposal because of this profit element so uh, first comment, very important to understand, this essentially shifts away from the reverse gas model that we are all familiar with, placing the cost of execution directly on the caller. While it, it, while it incentivizes developers, it may create friction for users who now bear the extra cost. Is this really true? We, um, I did speak um, personally with Louis Liu, he mentioned the reverse gas model was the sole one of the sole reasons why they moved from near uh, to develop on icp so is this something that will remove the reverse gas model dominic williams says not quite the canister calling into the canister providing uh, the service would just burn more cycles by doing so the canister providing the service would receive icp tokens equivalent to the cycles burned or some vari variation of so still 100% reverse gas. Let's see this very relevant comment. This is definitely a must have feature. While reverse gas is great, there are use cases where you don't want to offer it for free or when you want to have a limit on free usage and start ch charging afterward. Of course, we would need to see how much they would uh, charge for that and what are all the potential use cases. So uh, in this thread, you will get a lot of answers regarding uh, to that. So uh, many other interesting uh, comments here. Just think about starting a business that simply makes smart contracts for companies and projects. You can create a whole revenue stream just from the calls of the contracts you could create a whole business model around that of course uh, this could be something uh, really groundbreaking that changes the system we are going to see in which cases uh, they would um, need to pay for extra uh, cycles some projects would probably need extra cycles so we are going to see what are the use cases, what is the potential profit and the cost for these projects and if there is some interest. However, this could be really interesting as it could create another source of income for the Definity Foundation. Of course, as always, I always mention that this should not break some principles of trust in the community uh, this blockchain uh, needs more users and this should be the first interest of Definity at the moment however very interesting and we are going to see the developments and I'm going to share my thoughts when I get more information or a potential text of the proposal in the future now uh, let's move on to something else there used to be 270 plus members in the Definity team until recently. There are only 200 plus now. So what happened to the other 70 people? Has there been a restructuring? So, uh, very interesting. I have seen a comment from Enzo. Enzo is uh, the founder of Water Neuron. Uh, he and a colleague... Um, from the Definity Foundation has have started uh, this project. So two developers left from Definity to um, build Water Neuron. So we know now at least where two of these people went. However, let's check where the others could have gone. I believe some people got split to work on Utopia. Not sure if those team members are listed on the Definity page. Yes, that's a good point. Overall, um, some, uh, I believe, moved away to uh, build some other projects, as you have seen with Enzo and with others. I'm not sure where all these particular people went one by one. 
Uh, of course, uh, this is something that can be tracked if I go check uh, historically the page of Definity. I found these people, I check them on LinkedIn, I see where they're building and developing. I don't believe these people were simply uh, fired. I believe they're working on something else at the moment. However, I can double check and let you know in the future. I would need to do a very extensive research to see where these people are at the moment. Of course, we can just check Utopia Labs and see who is developing there also to understand how many of the developers of the Definity Foundation are building there. However, if we take in consideration the comments and the screenshots from the discussion on open chat when all this um, problematic discussion regarding Utopia have started, uh, the Definity team mentioned that only a very small group of people was working on Utopia, definitely not 70 people from what they mentioned. I have counted maybe 15 to 20 people that were working max on Utopia, so still uh, around 50 people are missing here. Okie dokie. Now, um, of course, uh, something very relevant as well to show you what is the effect of all these people living. Of course, the expenses of the Definitive Foundation and of ICP dropped significantly. Uh, still, I believe that they have a roadmap. They will execute what is written there. They have been executing for now very swiftly. Uh, I believe the Definity Foundation also, what they did recently in the last four, five, six months, they really improved their communication uh, with the community. They improved their marketing efforts as well. So this is overall fairly positive. However, let's check the expenses. So in March, around $44 million. In May, already 34. In June, 29. In July, 26. In August, only $17 million of expenses. Now, uh, this month, a little bit higher currently sitting at around 22.6 million. However, this is still a huge cut of expenses compared to the month of March, 45 million. And I cannot even see the previous months. Maybe the expenses were uh, higher here. However, what is interesting also to note that um, the Definity um, Foundation ICP were not creating a lot of money in fees in previous months. However, this month more than a million dollars, which puts ICP in the top 10 projects in the crypto space by creating fees, uh, according to Token Terminal at least. However, we can uh, track also this data that is extremely, extremely positive. Look at this percentage points fees in the last uh, 30 days plus 600, 6,388% uh, 6, and still growing. Every day this amount is growing. Fees annualized plus 3,000%. Of course, the expenses grew a little bit compared to the last month. However, overall, we can track most of the data is absolutely positive here. So, the metrics are now screaming that something is going on and I have I have been tracking in the last couple of weeks and months on the dashboard a lot of growth for ICP. Now uh, let's move on to something else. Leading blockchains say A, they are scalable and performant and decentralized Web3 infrastructure while B, paying dollars to madly build functionality on Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services, their partners wouldn't mind, except they can store one phone photo. Crypto deserves honesty, ICP. Well, this is technically true. And basically all these other so-called competitors to ICP like Solana, AVAX, ADA, and many others, they simply do not have the functionalities to store data on their blockchains. Uh, they were not built, built for that. So they need to store all this data, NFTs, collections, and so on and so forth on uh, other or uh, third parties in the crypto space or in the web to uh, space as well. So Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud or Arweave in the Web3 space. I'm very bullish on Arweave. However, uh, this sh simply shows that Arweave exists solely because of limitations of other 
uh, blockchains. Of course, Arweave is now building also AI and other things. So overall, that's uh, positive for them. However, uh, the first fun functionality of Arweave was a project built for storage and therefore Solana, AVEX and other projects could use these services to store their data, not on chain, unfortunately for them, but on a third uh, party. Uh, this is all something uh, that does not need to happen uh, with ICP because simply you don't need to rely on third uh, parties. You don't uh, need to have another problem regarding the security of your data because everything is stored fully on chain. Now, uh, let's move on to something else. So, uh, we knew already for quite some time, this was published on the 20th of November 2023, that the Definitive Foundation had a partnership with Singularity Net, okay, a joint initiative. Is this joint initiative now finished? Was it ended? Did they ever even partner for real and do something together? That's the question. We know that Singularity Net, then we had um, Ocean Protocol and so on and so forth. They have partnered together in a new alliance. However, is this partnership still ongoing? Let's go check this comment from uh, Dominic Williams that did create a ton of criticism here. So, leader of 4 billion plus fat claiming AI, that's AG, uh, AG uh, self-aware and scaling, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but there's none I can see. So, um, he is referring here on the picture to uh, Ben Gertzel, uh, which is the founder of Singularity Net. So, let's go check the comments. Wasn't Ben Gertzel company partnered with Definity for developing on-chain AI? This is something I just showed you in the previous slide. To be clear, we have an open arms policy and some non-technical folk embraced them and I heard about it much later. People thought they just wanted to create AI smart contracts, but we are not working together. We're probably using a DFN brand to launch their blockchain for AI. So this is a very interesting comment regarding their so-called partnership with Singularity Net. And we can see now the comment from Ben Gortzel himself. Uh, Hi, Dominic, we don't know each other, but I would like to encourage you not to judge me or my team's work based on media headlines. That said, yes, I feel some of our experimental proto and so on and so forth. You can uh, read this whole thing yourself. You may see it's a very long post. However, uh, this drama on social media uh, just shows that these partnerships, and this is what I mention oftentimes here. So these partnerships usually have as a goal to create some hype in both communities. However, question is, are these projects really going to partner and create something together, build something together, work on something together. So I feel, and this is my personal experience from last cycles in crypto, last three cycles in crypto, that many of these projects just partner to create hype. But in reality, they don't build anything together. And this is not something related to ICP, it's something much, much more related to other projects that had a ton of hype in previous cycles. So if you see a partnership and people wrote me, Definity is not creating any major partnerships. Okay, they can create 100 major partnerships, but are they working with this other product projects or this um, projects in Web2 or Web3? Doesn't matter. So this is also important. So what I'm focused on still here is data, charts, metrics, indicators, growth based on data. This is how I'm tracking undervaluation or overvaluation of a project based on that. So many people, once again, for every video, the same question. If ICP has so great metrics, why the price is not reacting? Well, first of all, the price reacted. But once again, I, I believe it's not, f the, the metrics are not priced in fully. 
So the price is reacting because, and this is as always the same, the, um, uh, the calculation that I'm making is the price action equals hype momentum plus news. Of course, partnerships are news and they are published to create hype. However, as you may see, this does not always lead to functionality and to something that is built. Uh, therefore, uh, price action is based mostly 95% on speculation. Okay, so take it as it is. Overall, guys, uh, I will not show you today the ecosystem. I will not show you the price action. I will not show you the news related to this all, uh, all these other projects in the ICP ecosystem just because I had these three major news that I wanted to share really with all of you guys. I may... Um, record a separate video today or tomorrow i will see however what i want to mention is that as always if you like this content make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel check my community on open chat for the latest data charts metrics indicators news and a ton of alpha check my profile on x and thank you very much for helping me reach 1000 followers also on x more than 2000 300 uh, people that are joining uh, this community on open chat as well i thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the interactions for all the comments for being part of the community and for being part of this experience 100 percent built fully on chain thank you very much for that have a great saturday and i will see you in the next one bye bye